it's Lisa from My Dreaming Soap. Welcome to my channel and thanks for dropping by. Now today we're going to do a soap made with a fragrance that's fairly new to me but it's really grown to be I think one of my favourite fragrances. I got it from Sensory Perfection in the UK and it was kind of I don't do this very often. I very rarely buy a soap, uh, or fragrance, sorry, without testing it first. So I'll buy a teeny weeny little amount and then I'll test it, make sure I'm happy with it, and then I'll buy some more. However, um, Sensory Perfection, one of our lovely fragrance oil suppliers in the UK, is closing down and there was a bit of a sale on where you could go in, obviously like in a sale, and get some fragrance oils at a more reduced price so that Jo could clear her stocks. And I saw this fragrance oil and I thought, oh, I'm going to have a punt on it. It had a couple of reviews. We don't tend to get lots and lots of reviews on our fragrance oils, like maybe those of you who are in the US, you get lots of reviews. We get none or maybe one or two at the most. Um, so I did take a little bit of a punt on it and I bought three or four, I think it was 200 milliliter bottles of it and oh gosh, it's beautiful. I really love it. Um, so much so I've gone back and bought a whole load more of it. Now it does accelerate my trace quite a bit so I need to be a little bit careful with it but for what I'm going to do today it's a lovely fragrance to work with because I'm going to do sort of a landscape scene. I'm doing a gardening soap so it's going to have a lovely chamomile fragrance and it's a soap aimed at a gardening scene so you know a little bit sort of unisex I guess wheelbarrows, plant pots, shovels and spades and that sort of thing. It's not a gardener's soap, it's not intended to be a scrubby soap, you know, the sort of stuff that you use with lots of ground up apricot seed or anything in, it's not that, that. it's purely just a picture normal washing soap. Anyway, come on, let's go and make some soap. I've done a little bit of prep work already and I've made some embeds and I've extruded these embeds. Now I decided not to do all the extrusion on the video because you've seen loads of videos with me extruding stuff. So I'm just going to show you what the embeds are that I've made. And I'll also put links in the descriptions where you can buy all the tools that you would need if you wanted to make these exact embeds because I do sell all the discs and things in my shop. Now I'm going to be doing a gardening scene in my soap. So first of all I've extruded some little tiny flower pots and this is extruded in brushed copper from Mica Mum. I thought that was a nice flower pot colour. I've also extruded some leaves of plants and I've done these in lime and emerald lagoon micas. And then, just trying to be careful picking them up, I've extruded a little garden spade or garden shovel. And it's a little bit squashed at the end where I've cut it. Probably see a little bit better at the bottom there. I've extruded a garden fork and I'm going to have to be really careful when I go to put this one in the soap to make sure I fill in all of these little gaps first before I put it in. And then one more thing. I've actually got a little wheelbarrow to go in my scene as well. Okay, so those are all the little extruders that I've made. Now fragrance oil I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using chamomile fragrance oil and this is from Sensory Perfection in the UK. So I'm going to start off first of all making some earth, so sort of like a flower bed. So I've got all my melted oils in here and I don't know if you can see the slight brownness to that, I've actually popped my mica in there and that's chestnut brown mica. 
and I get mine from You Make It Up, which is now Pure Rock Pearls. So I've put my mica in there because I just want this to be one solid colour. So mica straight into the oils. There's no need to predisperse a mica if you're going to just put it in, you know, if you've just got one colour, you can predisperse it in your oils anyway. Okay, doing the same thing. Okay, so there's that mica dispersed in. Let's just add our lye solution and sodium lactate. Gosh, I've got that fragrance oil. The bit I need for this layer poured off in a little pot next to me. It smells so lovely. I'm just going to add my fragrance oil now. I'm going to give it a little blend in. It's not the slowest fragrance oil in the world, but I don't really need this batter to stay super fluid for ages. So I'm sure I've said this before, but you know, if I can blend a fragrance oil in rather than just stirring it, I would choose to do that. So here, I am gonna give it just a little blend in. Okay, so I'm happy that's now in a trace. Let's go and get my mold. I'm going to set it up on my custom craft tools. Oh, what do they call this? Cheshire Cat, that's it. <laughs> Cheshire Cat. And that's because I want to have my mould at an angle, because I want the flower bed, bed angled. So I'm just going to pop this in. Put one of my little pins in. And that will give me the angle that I need. And then... I'm just not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but we'll try anyway. So for this section, I want to put my earth in. Gosh, you can see that's thickening up, isn't it? And that's okay, it's going to help me with my embeds. Places I want these, I just want to put them in like little leaves coming out of the flower bed. conscious to try and make sure that I'm getting this soap in between these leaves that I've put in because it is really quite thick now now I'm actually going to take this off my mold tilter because I don't really need it this batter's got so thick, it's really not going to go anywhere. So that will be easier for me, save me straining when I'm trying to get all this lot in. I normally like a little bit more of a flow on my batter, but that's okay, and it's good because we can see how, you know, if we've got a batter that's been thick, but it hasn't actually seized up and gone like soap on a stick, that's fine. We can still work with it quite nicely. Just got to be careful about 
watching for those air holes. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking, scraping clean all the sides and I want to take some of this off deliberately because I want to use it to sort of show some soil in my wheelbarrow. And then when I'm happy with what I've got, I'm just going to pop in, I need to pop in my little shovel and my fork. So remember I said with my fork, I've got to try and make sure I get it filled in. So I'm just going to take some of that loose batter first of all and trying to encourage it in before I just stick it in the mould. Tick tock, the clock is ticking I don't know what I should do And I wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't know where you are Okay, I want my fork sort of at the top of my garden. And I've actually made two forks for the shop. I've made one like this that sort of got half of the fork tines on it, so it looks like it's stuck into the soil, and one that's more of a full length one. Okay, so there's my fork, and let's get my shovel. This will be easier because there's no gaps in it, so I can just take my shovel and pop that. Now I want it at the bottom. Just as if some guards just finish with the day and plonk their tools just in the ground while they go and have a cup of tea. to do for my wheelbarrow is I just want it to look like that there is some soil in the wheelbarrow so I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this just make it sort of look like little mounds of something sticking in the wheelbarrow okay so there's those done and I'm obviously gonna have to be a bit conscious when I next do my layer for the, where the wheelbarrow is going to go, I've got quite a small gap there and I do want to make sure that that fills with soap. But for now I'm going to pop these to the side and get on with my grassy area. I'm going to sort of do, it's not really intended to be an in the pot swirl because I don't want my grass to look like an in the pot swirl. I kind of want it to look <laughs> just sort of mottled, so sort of like badly mixed if you see what I mean. So I am literally going to sort of pour these two in together. And can you see I'm deliberately pouring them while they're still really fluid? Because I do want them to, to sort of bleed into each other. I do want them to sort of mix into each other. The sort of thing that we normally avoid when we're trying to do an in the pot swell. Okay, so that will be great for me. Now I need to get this poured because it's going to start thickening up. Bits that I'm worrying about first of all. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still Thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars The ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault I messed it up and I should have You so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you. 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 I'm th
I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. I know it's too late. Okay, and then I'm just going to tidy up around here. I've got a few blobs of green on the top there. I'm not worried about that because there could be some green in my wheelbarrow, could not there? So I'm just going to leave those. And I'm going to try and tidy up underneath the arm of this wheelbarrow, the handle. And just think about any of the places I don't want to have green. So I am just going to split a little bit of this off because I've got some extra titanium dioxide. So I do want some bits of sky a little bit lighter and some a little bit darker, just so, although I can't have the nice cloud effect that I want, hopefully we'll still have some difference in our sky. Okay, so fragrance oil again. Okay, so again, whilst it's runny, let's get it poured into all those gaps, especially around that wheelbarrow. doing anything fancy just sort of randomly just swirling those two colours together. And I'm deliberately going for quite a heavy swirl because I'm not actually looking for a pattern on the top of this soap. I kind of just want these two to be sort of mixed together so I'm not trying to do some nice little design on the top. That's why I'm almost over swirling it. This would definitely sort of be an over swirl if I was after a decorative design. And I think that will do. Okay, so I'm going to put this to wait till tomorrow now. This big thing doesn't go in my oven, so I don't see pop it. I put it on a heating mat and cover it up. And that helps it go through gel. Okay, so here's our soap the next day. Let's get it cut, shall we? It does smell really gorgeous. This is lovely, this chamomile fragrance. Oh, that was really hard, actually. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. Let's just grab a couple from the middle, shall we? See what we've got. Yay, and there we go. Oops, let's just pop this one down. Okay, so we've got our little, picture, our little fork and our shovel in the garden with the little leaves growing and on our tipped up flower pots and our wheelbarrow at the top. I would have liked to have done some better clouds, perhaps in the sky there, but as I said to you, it, it's tricky with an accelerating fragrance oil. I couldn't do my sort of normal squeeze bottle technique which gives a really lovely sky but I think it's okay there's a little bit of movement in the sky there and then I'll just leave you with a final couple of photos of the soap and just to let people know after quite a bit of very nice nagging, I guess. I have started a Patreon account. So if you'd like to come over and support me and get all sorts of bonus things, like, for example, detailed calculations of how to make soaps like this, and those calculations are actually tailored to fit your exact mould so you can make them in your mould and all sorts of stuff like that, why not pop over to Patreon and join us and see what's going on over there. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching everyone. Happy soaping!